Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Bloody Jack, from the Bloody Jack channel, and it's that wonderful time once again. It's Loot Crate time! Now, in case any of you don't know what Loot Crate is, Loot Crate is a monthly um, subscription, and they send you monthly geeky good, like gamer goods or anything like that, and each one is set around a particular theme. Now, if you watched my last video on it, um, last month's video was on Invasion, and they had stuff from Predator, Venom, and a couple other bits as well. This is October's Loot Crate, and awesome way as well. This arrived today on October 30th, and tomorrow is Halloween, I cannot wait! And this one, I can already assume, is horror-themed. And this one, I believe, it had items from Evil Dead, uh, Gremlins, and another franchise I cannot remember. But other than that, it's fine. I, I can worry about that later. So, uh, as you guys can see, it's I'm going to cover up my address. Uh, it's completely sealed, so I'm waiting until I get the camera out and open it with you guys, so you guys can see my reaction to when I open these. Alright. If I can actually... Oh, there we go. Alright. So, I'm going to look away. Alright, we'll get the shirt out of the way. We always do the shirt first. Alright. Now, is it a cool shirt? Because it's in black and I like it already. Oh. It's an Attack on Titan t-shirt. Now, I think you guys seen in my other videos beforehand, um, I already have an Attack on Titan t-shirt and... Oh, it even has another extra thing on the... Uh, Sure. Uh, it's an official Funimation t-shirt, and it's a Loot Wear exclusive. And it's based on the second season of Attack on Titan. I probably might wear that at some point soon. Maybe tomorrow if I'm bothered. Alright, now... Ooh, there's another soft item. Oh my god. That's amazing. Anything inside out? Alright, in case you guys didn't notice already, <laughs> um, these are Gremlins socks, and I, I am a huge fan of the Gremlins movies. I've got both of them on DVD, I've got a few Gremlins action figures which I have laid out over there on my sh corner shelf. Um, I watch Gremlins every year on Christmas, it's one of my favourite Christmas movies, and it's one of my favourite horror movies of all time, and it was my introduction into horror movies, as you can tell by my awesome pinhead shirt. Alright, next, we got, um, any more soft items? No, alright, I'm going to check what this is. Ooh, that's cool. We got an Evil Dead, I don't know what this is, I think this is a, oh, Super Emo friend. I think this is a model, so... Loot Crate has par partnered up with artist Jay Salvador to create exclusive figural renditions of his drawings and paintings. Super Emo scenes inspired a frightfully funny scene in the cult classic Evil Dead 2. This diorama show features Ash and the cellar-dwelling Deadite Henrietta. Now, I remember this from Evil Dead 2, so this is going to be a little bit fun. And I'm gonna not stop the recording. I actually want you guys to witness me fail doing this. <clears throat> oh, it is a model. I was like the um, it's like one that um, Luke Cray did a little while ago, where they did the ending to yeah, they did the ending to the first season of Stranger Things. And I looked at that one, and that one was actually really good. And it's on sale at the moment on the Loot Crate Vault, so you guys can check that out on the Loot Crate website. So you can buy shit separately. I like all the stuff detailed on here. They even got the background and the cellar door. Well, you can't have Evil Dead without the cellar door. <laughs> I do like how lovely detail. They even have a little sad ash. <laughs> Ashley Ash Williams and Henrietta which looks a little bit alright I'm gonna admit that Henrietta looks a little shit whereas 
Ash actually looks really good. They even added the chainsaw hand and the boomstick. So I'm going to actually construct this for a little bit. This whole video is going to be unedited as well, so and it clips together perfectly like a like a jigsaw. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but we also got my Xenomorph one right here, and we got my just ignore this, like this was um, something that I did ages ago, which I can't even remember what the hell it was. And we've got my Gundam over there, which I bought while I was in New York, if you guys remember me meant talking about it um, a little while ago. Um, I'm gonna slap Henry Etta there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Shit. I haven't broken it yet, so. That's a. Uh, that's a fucking start. I'm trying my hardest not to break it as well, so. So Ash just slam dunks himself in there. And we clip in the Les Cello Du. Somehow. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Oh, do I just leave it like that? Hold on. Oh, no, it just stays like that. <laughs> Alright, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. I probably might post a picture of that on Instagram, so. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna stay like that. I'm gonna keep that on my shelf, actually, because I actually love Evil Dead. Alright, next. I think that may. Oh! Like that's the pin, so I'm gonna say that's a lot. What's this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's American Horror Story. Not a huge fan of American Horror Story, and it's the Hotel Kiri. Oh, so it's like an actual key that you can use that you can actually get cut for your house. That's cool. I actually like that. That's actually really really clever. So let me actually unwind that. Uh, I apologies if you can hear music in the background because I got my sister in the other room watching Sweeney Todd like insanely loud and I've got Deadpool 2 playing in the background so it doesn't seem like I'm so fucking alone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean I watched this the season that this came from of American Horror Story and yeah, room sixty-four. I don't have I don't have that much memory of the season of American Horror Story that that came from, because my favorite season is the Freak Show. That's my favorite season of all of American Horror Story. But every other season, I think it's a little bit meh to me. I mean, I'm not huge. I'm not the biggest fan of American Horror Story. All right, next. Okay, I think that's pretty much. Everything. Yep. Alright, so let's see what we got. Loop crate. Well, first I gotta check the pin out first. And this pin looks meh, I guess. I, it, it, it's really good, actually. Um, yeah, it's an Ouija um, little clip. Little, really well detailed Ouija one. And this one. Yep, it's an official licensed one by Hasbro, so... Um, a Ouija mystifying oracle. The Ouija films are really not the greatest film, like modern horror movies. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, Loot Crate, twin October 2018. Oh, it turns out the theme wasn't just horror in general, it was, um, cursed. Did you happen to walk by a black cat? Break a few mirrors, step on a, some sidewalk cracks, or anger a mysterious stranger. Because we checked our crystal ball, and your future is all evil spirits, horrifying monsters, and really unpleasant um, uh, proficiencies. Can't speak today. In other words, you're cursed. Uh, the good news is you can still enjoy this cool collection of haunted gear featuring Attack on Titan, Evil Dead 2, Gremlins, and American Horror Story. So, shit we got, we got, um, the exclusive Ouija Planchette pin, the exclusive Attack on Titan t-shirt, 
uh, the exclusive super yeah the supermo scenes of the Evil Dead 2 diorama exclusive gremlin sock okay so you could have gotten two different sets of socks you could have gotten um the gizmo ones which we that we got and you got the stripe ones now I would have been happy with either because you know I fucking love gremlins and we got the American Horror Story keychain and anything on the back so who would have won the mega crate and what was included in the mega crate this month uh... one lucky winner gets uh, cursed trap yeah gets cursed um, camping trip gear including uh, big agonist deluxe six person tent uh, four Coleman adult sleeping bags, four Amazon, uh, yeah, Amazon basic hiking pa hike, yeah, backpacks, two optional reachable two-way gear radios, and more, all in $1,200 plus in value. And again, we never win the Mega Crate. And also, here's the fun part of the crate every month. Uh, the dioramas, and I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but these ones are actually really cool. These are like masks you can make at home. Crate craft. Uh, the blood curdling beast from beneath the waves, and uh, the the abominable um, Anzilla. So yeah, just make your own masks, which I am not going to spend too much time doing. But yeah, other than that, this loot crate has been really good. I actually like it. That's actually really fun. But if you want just horror-based items, uh, loot crate do have a. If you guys want to get a loot crate yourself, I will put a link in the description below so you guys can go buy your own loot crate. It's like twenty pounds a month. Yeah, just around uh, twenty pounds a month. But if you guys want to get, if you don't want the basic loot crate, there's also a wide variety of other loot crates that you want to get for yourself. Uh, there is the basic loot crate, the Loot Crate DX, which is more value and it's uh, double the price. Uh, you got Loot Crate Wear, where you can just get um, t shirts, socks, and shit like that. Uh, loot Crate Pets, you want to get something for you and your pet, um, cat or dog, or whatever pet you have. Or you've got the Loot Crate Anime, if you're someone into anime like I am, there's also the Loot Crate Anime, which you can get there as well. And also, if you're a hardcore horror fan like I am, there's also the Loot Crate Fright, which is just released. And some people have been saying it's really good, there's been mixed opinions on it recently, and at the moment it's got stuff from Krampus and a few other horror movies, it's about Season's Greetings and shit like that. Uh, yeah, check out the Loot Crate, I'll put a link in the description below. I also put a link to my Twitter, I'll put a link to my Twitch account as well. I'll put the name of my Instagram as well down below if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Twitch. Uh, go check those out. Um, you'll see my live stream schedule on Twitch, on my Twitch page as well, so you guys can check that out if you like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and smash that motherfucking like button. And I will see you guys in the future videos. And since it's Halloween, I realized Halloween is coming up and I haven't properly talked about a horror movie this year. So I think I probably might want to try and do that. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you guys and see you guys later.